The devil is not in charge. Powers of darkness aren't in charge of this earth. God is. Amen. My Bible tells me that Jesus Christ has been given all power and all authority. Amen. He sits at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Now, if you recall, and, and you would have to have read the story of Joseph in the book of Genesis. If you recall, Joseph was given a vision as a young man. And he did what? He shared it with his family. Yes, yes. Now, this is my opinion. I'm not sure that was wise of him. Mm -hmm. See, it's just some things you need to keep to yourself. All right, all right mm -hmm. now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Your family will need to know all your business. All right. Don't be airing out your dirty laundry to your siblings or your friends, mm -hmm. let, alone so <laughs> not here, let alone social media. Man, I've never seen so much dirty laundry on social media. Amen. Praise God in my entire life. Yes, yes. Amen. Praise God. You need to quit telling everybody your business. All right, all right. Man. I don't care whether they're your brother, your sister, your mother, your boo, or whatever. Quit telling everybody your business. Your family don't need to know all your business. All right, all right. Huh? What goes on in your house between husband and wife need to stay between husband. And wife. Amen. Amen. As a father, help me, Lord. As a father, and, and, and a father in law, I tell my children if you don't want me in your business, don't invite me in. <laughs> right. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some things you need to keep just between you and God. All right, Come on, y'all talk back to me now. Y'all make me feel strange this morning. But Joseph told his mama and he told his daddy, he told all 11 of his brothers. And his brothers became envious and jealous of him. Do you not know, amen, somebody wishes they were in your shoes, the shoes that you're in today? Yes. Yes. Do you not know that somebody, the devil has somebody that's envious of you? Yes. Amen, praise God. And because they're envious of you and jealous of you, amen, they'll try to cause all sorts of confusion and chaos in your life and in your house. Y'all yes. don't want to yes. talk back yes. to me, baby. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Joseph told all 11 of his brothers, and from that very moment, they plotted to hurt and to do away with him. And how many of you know the words unjustly spoken hurt? Yeah. Mm. If, if you read your Bible, you know the story. Mm. He, Joseph, he's thrown in a pit by his yes. brothers. Yes. He's, placed into, he's placed into prison unjustly. But see, the Bible tells us that the word of the Lord tried him. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that Joseph felt a little bit deserted? Think about Joseph's life for a moment. Don't you think he felt that he was undeserving of this? Don't, don't you think that when Potiphar's wife falsely accused him, he felt a little unnerved? And when his brothers threw him in a pit and threatened to kill him, how would that make you feel? <coughs> hmm? I mean, you, you know, would, would you hold an art or, or an axe against your brothers? Would you hate Potiphar's wife for lying on you? Would you yeah. Amen. Y'all mighty quiet this morning. I'm going to be stepping on the bridge. Would, 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 would you get upset with the chief butler who for two years forgot about the promise he had made to Joseph? In, have you read your Bible? Two years. Amen. Uh, the Bible says that that, 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 that Pharaoh had put the butler and the baker in jail and they had a dream and no one can interpret that dream but Joseph was in prison with them and Joseph interprets the dream and Joseph says to the baker, amen, praise God, in two days Pharaoh will lift your head off your shoulder. In other words, you, 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 you toast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he tells the baker, in two days, amen, Pharaoh's going to restore you back to your position. And Joseph says, amen, when you get back to your position, he says, don't forget about me. Remember me. And for two years, the butler never remembered Joseph. Mm. Would you get upset with the chief butler? <clears throat> Who, man, I, I done you good, man. You told me you were going you to take care of me. You take, but but you, it took two years. Mm -hmm. Joel, now, Joel had to work through all of that and wonder where God was. Mm. 
Amen. Have you ever found yourself, amen, praise God, doing that you know to do that's right? Amen. Being good to other folks, amen, helping other people, supporting other people, attending their functions and supporting them. And when it comes around to you, amen, there's nowhere to be found. All right, all right. All Come right. on, Bishop. How, how would you handle that? All right. Hmm? Yes. Joseph had to work through all of this. Yes. But sometimes trials come by the word of God has given us. And we'll see whether or not you can stand or will you stand. Uh -huh. Because the greater your faith, the greater your test. Amen. 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 Pray. Amen. Try will come your way. Amen. To see whether or not God already knows, but to see, to let you see whether or not you will stand on the promises of God. Come Are on, you hear what I'm saying? Uh -huh. This is not a simple thing for Joseph, y'all. I know we read it, amen, praise God, and you may not see the, the crux of it, you may not see the, the, the seriousness of it because you're not walking in Joseph's shoes, but this is not a simple thing for Joseph. For 14 years, somebody say 14. 14. 14. For 14 years or so, Joseph goes through this. For 14 years, this is not an overnight situation where it's all right in the morning. I mean, he's not an overnight success, amen. Yeah. But for 14 years, he humbles himself. I mean, yeah. He displays the character he's supposed to hold on to. And in all of his adversity, in all of this hurt, and in all of this pain, and on, being by those who are supposed to love him, come on, Bishop. Back. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Come on. He disrespected yeah. and come kicked on, the Bishop. curve. He's a bad Come on, Bishop. And take it for granted and never appreciate it. Uh huh. Yeah. The word of the Lord tried him. And one day, one day. I said, one day. Yes. Uh -huh. Tell someone next to you, one day. One day. One day, yes, 14 God. years, and one day yes. when you've been hurt, wounded, disrespected, and paid for 14 years, one day, one day. is about to happen. Hallelujah. One day yes. is about to come your way. Second yes, come on, Bishop. One yes, day one day. Years and a thousand years is as one day. Yes. One day is about to knock on your prison and cell door. Yes. And you hold fast to the word God yes. gave you. And you hold fast to what he's told you. One day is coming when you least expect. Come on, Bishop. Yes. 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 So I say to you, get ready. Oh, yes. Yes. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Yes. Come on, Bishop. One day. One day is one coming. Day. Yes. One day, God, who saw the character of Joseph yes. and was well pleased with what he saw, one day he elevated Joseph from the pit to the pulpit. Oh, he yes. promoted him from the prison to Come the palace up. and made him second in charge over yes. the palace. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. God allowed Joseph to go through all that mess yes. to become a message. Yes. Oh, you know what uh -huh. And each test for a testimony. Yes. But after he was elevated and promoted, there was still one test to take and one message to deliver. Yes. Uh -huh. Which brings us to our text today. What's that? Joseph had to forgive yes. what he couldn't forget. Come on. All right, all right, all right. Come on. We hear you, Bishop. Yes, yes, yes. This was the offenses of his brother. Yes, yes. I hope you didn't close your Bible. Look at uh, verse 17 in Genesis chapter 50 again. Verse 17, Genesis chapter 50. Our theme comes. <coughs> so shall you say unto Joseph, forgive. Yes, Lord. I pray you now, the trespass of your brothers and their sin. For they did evil unto you. Mm. And now we pray you forgive the trespasses of the sons of the God of your father. Mm. The Bible says that Joseph wept. Mm. There's another scripture that says Jesus wept. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. When he, they spoke unto him. How would you handle family who tried to kill you? Jesus. Mm. Be real now. That's a hard one. <laughs> uh -huh. That's a hard one. How would you have a family that threw you into a pit? Mm. 
that's a hard one. And sold you into slavery. Mm. How, how would you deal with folk who meant you no good? Mm. Disrespected and dishonored you? Mm. Betrayed and abandoned you? Slighted you and took you for granted? Uh -huh. Tried to kill you mm. and get rid of you? Mm. Would you forgive them? Mm. Y'all quiet on mm. Or would you hold it against them? Mm. Process Jesus. Process God. All right. I'm about to find that out. Oh, Jesus. Process now, God. <laughs> I should have said this before you answer, but let me say it after you answer. Now, before you say the politically correct thing, or since we're in church, the spiritually correct thing all right, all right. to say, see, we Christians know how to say the right thing. Even though we don't mean it. Come on, man. All right, God. Amen. Amen. Mm. Amen. That's why I stay but quiet. <laughs> before you answer, I want you to know that forgiveness goes against human nature. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Let, yeah. me, let me explain that statement. Mm. Let me explain that statement mm. by asking a few questions. Mm. And then yeah. perhaps you'll understand where I'm coming from. All right, all right. When was the last time somebody hurt you? Mm. I mean, it hurts so bad that it still haunts you. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. When, when was the last time someone spoke against you or spoke to you in a way you didn't deserve? Yes. Uh. When was the last time someone treated you with contempt or they, 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 they treated you in a way that was not appropriate for the relationship you thought you had? Help us, Lord. When was the last time somebody done you dirty? Oh, Lord. Well, when was the last time you were hurt and wounded by someone in your world? Mm. How'd you handle that? Mm. Not good. Some, <laughs> someone, someone you would have never thought yeah. who would hurt you the way they hurt you. Yeah. And it has a lasting effect on you even though you've forgiven them. Mm -hmm. Even though you were left in the dark with no closure, no explanation or any remorse by the offender. <coughs> Am I heading home with anybody? Uh -huh. if, if, if I know life like I know life, the answer would probably be Bishop, it wasn't too long ago. Mm. Maybe even last week. Mm. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm no prophet, but as a matter of fact, the possibility of being hurt recently may be causing you right now mm. to be looking side-eyed at somebody. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and every time you see them, Yes. In the back of your mind, memories come flooding back. Yes. So vivid as though it just happened, although it may have happened years. <coughs> Personal testimony. <coughs> and I don't mind testifying because I've been delivered from it. Come on, Bishop. I'm human just like y'all. Yes. I can recall as a pastor of this church. Someone I highly respected and looked up to and trusted mm. hurt me so bad that anger built up in my, my, my heart. And every time I would see them in a the department store, I, I, I can recall last time I saw them in Lowe's, this was years ago, I saw them in Lowe's. I made a, B, I made a B line turn so I wouldn't have to talk to them. And when I got around the curve, the Holy Spirit met me there. And told me, even though you were not wrong, you need to get that right. So to this day, we're in talk, talk and turn. I consider them friends, long distance friends, but friends. You see, you can hurt so deeply that it could have been 20 or 30 years ago. 
But, not, but right now, you can remember everything about that day and about that moment right down to the detail. The hurt had been so deep that you replayed it over and over and over again in your mind and mind putting pieces together after the fact. Time and time again, over and over, you're still bleeding. You remember what day of the week it was? You remember names? What they said and how it was said. You even remember what you were wearing and what they were wearing. 20, 30 years ago. Wow. You, you see, there are some things that hurt you so bad. Mm -hmm. You never forget anything about it. Mm. Y'all can sit there with me like you got halos over your head and you don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the day, you remember the day, the hour, the year, what was said, how it was said, the pain, the heartache, and the tears. And I think it's safe to say that everyone in here today has come in carrying some wounds which they still bleed from. Amen. Come on, y'all talk. Be real. Come, come on, Bishop. On. Come on. You come in carrying some hurt, carrying in some deep pain, and carrying a broken heart, carrying some disturbing memories. Uh, shall I go on? Yes. Yes. Carrying some scars, harboring some resentment, carrying some anguish. Uh, perhaps even carrying some unforgiveness. Mm. Mm. Now, I know some of y'all come off so spiritual that, that this is foreign to you. Mm -hmm. So spiritual that nothing like that ever bothers you because you're saved and you're sanctified mm. and you're filled with the Holy Ghost. You speak in tongues and, and you break out in the dead, but you're never hurt. Mm. But the fact of the matter is if you never experienced what Joseph experienced, if you never went through what I went through, if you've never experienced my pain, then you won't understand my sorrow. Uh -huh. If you've never been through my hurt, then you won't be able to empathize with my wounds and why I feel the way I feel. If you've never experienced what Joseph experienced because you never had to go through what he had to go through, so therefore it's easy for you or I or someone to discount their pain, their hurt, or their wounds. Wounds that may be fresh and still sensitive or, or scar that's still healing. And I say still healing. And sometimes, depending on how deep the wound, it can take a long, long time to heal. Uh-huh. But all of us know what it is to journey through life and be wounded deeply. Yeah. Do I have any wounds? By people we never thought would treat us like that. Amen. Offenses are in, in, inevitable, amen. Uh, uh, Jesus says in Luke chapter 17 that it is impossible for you to go through life and you not be offended. Right. Offenses will come, y'all. Yes. It, it does not matter how saved you are or how sanctified you are, you will be mistreated. Yes. Yes. Get ready for it. Yes. 